we are now on our way to a harvest host in Quincy, Washington. We just spent three weeks in Gig Harbor, Washington, where Mark visited his son and family. And then I actually flew back to Wisconsin to help out with a family emergency. But we're now back on the road again, heading east. But first, there's a toll to be paid. I don't know why, but I always get nervous on what lane to use unless we're going through like Chicago or Florida, just because we're familiar with them. Well, a picture, a picture shows that I can just drive through on this side. It says toll by mail. We pay extra. We don't care, honey. See, for you to be able to do this, you got to have these cameras. Right. And, uh, the one that we did a video on in that campus. When leaving Gig Harbor, we crossed the beautiful Tacoma Narrows Bridge. Check it out. And we're now on our way to the Harvest Host Trinity Gardens Lavender Farm. I love lavender. I love it. Trinity Gardens Lavender Farm. Live the lab. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Arriving at 2530 Road 5 Southwest on the left. So are we back in? Yeah. Yes, we are the cheek. The cheek the tilt off. This is lovely. Yeah. So let's take it off right away before anybody shows up and plug it in. Alright, we're at the, the lavender farm. Let's see what it smells like. It smells deodorant, honey. <laughs> it smells like your does deodorant. It, does it smell like, like a, a pirate ship? <laughs> oh, <ew. laughs> That's my old spice. Oh, it's warm. It's very warm here. Okay. One of my favorite things are uh, lavender. Oh my gosh! Filled with, filled with bees. So we just arrived, and they actually do have a, a sign that marks it pretty, pretty well on where the harvest host um, RVs go. So uh, nice gravel road down here. We're going to take the car off or the minivan off, and they actually have sites set up for harvest hosts, like we're camping. This is really nice. They've got the chairs. You get your own fire pit. Let's see how many uh, sites we have here. So it appears that they have six sites set up here. But then uh, there's an overflow over here. Big area back here they call their group area. So uh, a lot of room. You can easily get your big rig in here. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna drive and uh, back in. And he's telling me right now I'm in the way. No problem. All right, so they do want us to back in, so that's what we're gonna do. So I don't know about you, but I think it makes it much easier if there's lines on the ground or some kind of separation between the grass and the gravel or the parking pad. But uh, okay, here we go. Get in position.
Look at that. It's coming to check me out. When in doubt, go out and check. All right, you're good. Good to go. Voila, and there we are. Typical. <laughs> you're so full of it. No, no. I was out here waiting for you. Yeah, everything is typical. For instance, did you lock it? No, because you're my distraction. Oh, okay. I'll do it now. What's that racket right. in the background? Oh man, it is hot here. What is with it? The last uh, harvest host we went to also, it was like 106. I think it's up to mid 90s, low yeah. 90s right now. And uh, we've got our generator going, so we've got a little coolness happening. All right. So it's just how it is, thank goodness for generators. So we just got here and we've got an hour before their shop closed. Yeah, let's get going. So we gotta get going. All right. Come on, baby. So here's the shop where you'd actually pull in if you're just visiting and looking at some of their products. But as you can see, looks like they've got more going on here. They've got a Airbnb also. I'll have to ask about that. I didn't know they did that. Back here, there's a tiny house. Perhaps that's it. I don't know. We'll have to inquire about that. Further down where we came in, they make it pretty easy for us to uh, know where to go if you're a harvest host. They have their own entrance. Point you that's my deodorant yeah I had my lavender deodorant on this morning because I knew we were coming here I wanted to fit in that was my <laughs> so besides finding lavender products you can also find some work by artists and I believe the ceramic pieces are done by the um, owner's daughter and then we have the lavender products So they even have wine from local wineries. Nice touch. So we got pretty lucky showing up on July 9th so we can do this festival tomorrow. Right, we just left the um, gift shop and I scored. I scored. I paid too though. Excellent. So <laughs> yeah. uh, how hot is it honey about would you guess? Um, it's uh, about 90 right now. Yeah. Doesn't feel yeah. all that bad. Let's go in the shade and let's show the folks show them what we got. our booty. All right. This is really nice how they have it all um, shade. It's hot. So tomorrow they're gonna have music here. Ooh, this is a dance floor. The dance floor. I just stepped on it. Wow. Perhaps we'll be dancing finally again. Well, let's show you what we got. Now remember, we're used to paying forty-three dollars a night. Yes, full hookups. Yes, you know sewer and water. But when you got a rig that's got Big enough tanks you don't need sewer and water all the time and we got our generator running right now right. you know cooking up the air conditioning and i mean this is a real wonderful change of pace i don't know if this is going to be lit up tonight but if this is lit up tonight oh, yeah. i might bring suzette over here and have a little bit of a romantic you know but what that's is, a different is there subject dancing involved i'm in <laughs> all right <laughs> yeah. by the way these are my new glasses. You are just too cool. I know. I went shopping while Sue was gone visiting her mom for 17 days. Yeah. All right. So, lavender smudge spray. Mm. Thinking it's a cleaning agent. It's, it's going to cleanse the energy. And then this is bug me not. Now he says it really works. You might have to apply it more often, but it's right. better than off as far as chemicals. We were joking, but 
Here's the lavender deodorant. I love lavender deodorant. Of course, the proverbial lavender bar of soap. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. There's our booty. But you've been scare scoring a lot on these uh, harvest hosts lately, haven't you? Yeah. And then something for the Chan Man. Some cherries that they also grow. Yeah. So do they grow those apples in the back too? Yes. Wow. So apples and cherries are grown too. I thought the I, I actually thought the recommended uh, amount I read a few times to be gracious enough to spend it at the Harvest House. I could have swore I saw it was $30 and then I read it was $20. So let's split the difference. Uh, to spend $25 at a place like this and get products and being able to stay at something that's this different is really going to be a treat. Yeah. We'll see how it is tonight when we're uh, in peace and quiet with uh, how beautiful it smells so here. So how much did we spend on this? I think it was $29.50. Yep. So if you have to spend $30, we beat the system by $0.50. Cents. <laughs> hey love, you got your heart on your sleeve, but the shirt on your back's a bit small. Hey you, yeah your colors are changing, the world ain't half bad after all. Na na na. I don't know if you can tell um, by the way the lavender is blowing, but the wind is blowing towards us. We are downwind from it, and does it smell good? So nice. Do you, do you have a clue what that tented in stuff is in the distance? Not at all. Hmm. We should inquire. Yeah. So once again, this is the uh, OGM engineering portion of the show, and you might ask yourself. Why are you wearing two pairs of glasses? Okay. The answer is, I'm not going to tell you. But okay. we're at a lavender farm here. We're at the Trinity Gardens Lavender Farm in Quincy, Washington, correct, honey? Mm -hmm. And you got to ask yourself, how are they able to grow these perfectly uh, formed, no weed uh, lavender plants just so perfectly this whole row and they're all the same size. Well, here's your answer, folks. You can see that in between the plants here, they have some PVC nozzles with some kind of a uh, flow uh, control so that this row doesn't get all the water and all the other ones end up starving. So that's pretty smart engineering. Then the tube comes through here and right where the plant is, they poke a little hole. And in the meantime, this keeps all the weeds out. Otherwise, it would just be a uh, basic nightmare keeping all of these this uh, going here. So other than uh, this is the, a simple engineering segment. This yeah, time. yeah. Other than uh, you know the thousands of hours of backbreaking work here, yeah. it's pretty awesome. Totally. Back to you, Sue. So one of the things Dave, the owner, had mentioned is that they did want to bring the community into this area and have kind of like an agriculture farm that people could enjoy and be educated and have events. So we've got this beautiful lavender field, and they built this. So they do host weddings, um, pretty much any kind of event, family reunions, anything you can imagine, which includes a festival tomorrow. But a pretty nice setup here. And again, I wish we had Smellorama on the YouTube channel because it just smells beautiful. Boy, it's amazing once you step out of the sun and get under here. It is so much cooler. Yeah, it is. It, it, it is amazingly cooler. And, you know, what is it? It's just a couple of ribs there. But, yeah. you know, if we weren't in a hurry and have to get to a Glacier, to meet up with Paul and Pat, I'm. I was thinking about. I might even thought about re renewing our vows here <laughs> tomorrow, honey. Oh, honey. What do you think? We can do it on our own. Doesn't have to be like anybody else. Oh, yeah? Just you could, and me, baby. Could we? Um, 
Did we like renew our vows tonight? <laughs> so here's one of the problems of being a YouTuber. You get so involved videotaping all this beautiful stuff. And Mark went on one direction, I went uh, another. And Mark set our bag down somewhere. So here we are, like about two hours later, the um, owner, the owner's son drove up to our rig with our bag. So you gotta remember, it's 90, 95 degrees. And I don't know if you can see this, but our deodorant has melted. So we did manage to make it solid again, just by putting it into the refrigerator. And then we did enjoy this beautiful sunset and got a good night's sleep. Next morning, well, see for yourself how Mark was feeling. Actually, we're lucky enough to be here during a uh, flower festival that's happening today but and we were gonna hang around for a while but we decided we're gonna get going um, it's 85 degrees here already supposed to get up to 97 um, the main thing is that we are uh, driving a long day so Sue how was your stay here at <laughs> Trinity Gardens Lavender, Lavender Farms, Farms. I'm so glad you asked, Mark. <laughs> actually, as I'm waiting for you to cue in. So actually, we had a wonderful evening here. Um, even though we can actually see Interstate 5 off in the distance back here, it's beyond this little apple orchard that they're starting, um, we didn't hear a thing. And it was really hot yesterday, maybe 95, but it cooled down so beautifully. So we opened all our windows and you can see the window where our um, bump out for the bed is we had this wonderful breeze and you know every now and then you get a little lavender smell in there it was really relaxing great spot I mean just about every site here was filled most people took off already but um, we're just hanging out a little bit longer just to enjoy it so what do you think of this <coughs> harvest host thing? oh definitely come here yeah definitely come here it's a, a family owned <clears throat> small business they planted and did everything this was nothing but barren land here I mean it looked like this empty field next to us and they did everything they did the um, leveling out they did the irrigation system they did all the planting it's a really truly a labor of love and then they added things on like little huts and playgrounds for the kids yeah um two pavilions got one back here that's beautiful for weddings yeah um and a really nice gift shop with all their handmade products lavender and they have cherries and a bunch of other things too so you had you had remarked that when you looked at the Google Maps, there was nothing here. Yeah, when I was trying to look um, at the satellite on Google just to see where we would pull in, there was nothing here but just just dry field. So they really, I think it was in 14 that they uh, they started it. 15, I think they actually started planting it, 2015. Wow. So, you know, in the short amount of years, look at this lavender. Wow. It's phenomenal. It's pretty nice. Yeah, come here. It's a definite must. It's right off the interstate too. It's so easy to get to. We're meeting friends in uh, uh, Glacier National Park, driving 500 miles today. We're doing 265. That is huge for us. So we figure it'll be about um, it'll be about a six and a half hour drive for us, just because we're slow and we'll probably make two stops. I try to make sure that we stop and Mark can get his legs moving and and uh, have a little potty break. So, anyways, we're heading out and totally love this place make sure you check it out you know what takes so long 
Why does it take times, so long? Well, all the times when we pull over and we have to put the slide out so we can take a nap. <laughs> we take naps. It takes a long time. You know, it's not a bad idea, actually.